uh, to edit videos for YouTube on a Chromebook. Download PowerDirector from the uh, Chrome store, and which is this icon with the little shopping bag and the Chrome emblem in it, third from the left. And you will, you will also need to have the YouTube app on your Chromebook, also from the Chrome store. They work in conjunction when you're, uh, when you finish editing your video in <clears throat> PowerDirector, you'll, uh, you'll, I'll show you the button. You produce it to YouTube and it uses, it uses the app in that context. It's hard, it can be hard to figure out what's not going right if, if you don't have the app installed at that stage of the game, the production stage. So you just, uh, these are videos that I've taken with my smartphone. And then I upload them from the smartphone to Google Drive. It's usually on the video, there's a share function. A share gives you a bunch of place selections. And you select Google Drive and Google Drive and upload it. Um, so new project is the middle icon at the bottom of PowerDirector. Give it a working title uh, just because this... This is uh, for your power director files. Whether you shot it in a landscape or portrait mode, then hit OK. Let's just do test up here. <clears throat> hit OK. And then from your drive emblem, uh, there's other ways to do it, you'll, but you'll figure those out while you're clicking around. Um, pick a file. Usually hit it once and you'll see it, the uh, scroll bar go across as it downloads to the app. Once it's downloaded, double tap it and uh, it goes into the edit editor. This is a power director and you, you know, you uh, just, just click around in it and practice. There's a button in the upper right where you can play the video that you just inserted. And when you get after you review it, you know, you make mental notes at least of the timestamp here where you want to cut out some. You'd pause it and find that timestamp and then uh, highlight the clip. The dark green uh, line goes uh, live around it. Cut it. There's this third from the top upper left uh, emblem. And then, uh, you know, go to the other, go to the other end of the piece you wanted to cut out, highlight the clip again, cut it again, go back down, highlight the piece that you just clipped beginning to end and hit the trash emblem and it takes it out and puts the clip before and clip after it together. You can also take a clip. I have a cut here. You can see where you have cuts and they don't show up in the video if you don't do anything else but put a mark in them that you uh, started and stopped there. So highlight it again, clip it, hi highlight the clipped portion, portion, and then you can grab it, left click, hold, and move it, move the clipped portion around up to the end of the video in that case. Or you can, if you have a clip mark, let's say right here, uh, highlight clip, and then you want to insert this other portion that you've segmented off into that space. You can just grab it, pull it over. It comes up like this, let go, and it goes in between. Now, uh, if you have a, if you go and do some, you just save it, um, um, and, uh, you want to come back later, go, go outside and film another clip or something. If you were doing a project, want to show how it was done. Then you would, uh, use this video clip and music button to add more. Uh, and you go back to your Google drive. Um, add more in this case 
that's on the top toolbar you see video or uh, a still photo you put still photos on top they go into the second line watch this whoops well no they don't exactly okay check that go back still photo go in the main line from this from that first button for adding clips to music if you want to layer it you go to the second button and so we go to an image and then uh, put it in see it goes to the second line then you can highlight it grab it so it'll it'll lay over like this and you can resize it as a layover image put it in the, move it around put it put it in the upper left hand corner that type of thing and uh, that one that I put in by mistake let me just highlight dump it and music same thing third third line uh, uh, layers and uh, you see you can do you can do type over you know you see that a lot on YouTube videos with title and then uh, more video than a still image I don't use stickers the functions down here I don't use those functions either and that is it then uh, I don't <clears throat> I'm trying to move that loom okay because there's two um, icons down here on the right let me see if I can close this window I'm still practicing with screen recording so you'll save it what you did and then you'll hit this produce button you'll send it to YouTube pick YouTube from the share options share options I always use full HD I don't know why those are there because if you got the capacity just use it then it processes the video to uh, YouTube okay I did this once already let me go back cancel go back shows you some of the things you can do here let me take out uh, this whoops it shows sometimes these um, tip messages and that's, that's a, always a nuisance not the first couple times because they're telling you how to do things but after that when they jump up it's a nuisance let me just trash that one and uh, highlight and trash that one and then go back to the beginning let me trash highlight and trash the uh, still image I'm just making this save then produce I'm just making it short so we don't have to sit here all day waiting for it to produce to uh, the video to YouTube okay so it does this takes a few minutes depending on the size of your video file and when it's done go to YouTube put in a title put in a description you can you can modify this later so right now you can just put in truck and uh, uh, window trim and then uh, that's it that's all that's allowed on there you don't have the tags yet you're gonna have to put those in in a minute and I'll show you that so then the upper right hand corner is send it to YouTube now it takes a few minutes and you'll see it uh, the scroll bar come across it well this one's gonna go quick because I made it so short so it'll tell you when it's ready to view processing has started the video is ready to be watched so you just you can watch it from here but th what you're going to do actually is go back to your uh, Google Chrome and then go back I've bookmarked my own um, page okay so there's the recording function pause finish okay and then um, go to YouTube YouTube studio the second icon in the left column is your list of videos and then 
and then from there you can hit hit in in this from this page from the studio uh, list of videos. If you title of the video, it gives you the editing fields for title, uh, description, uh, thumbnail, and down here is uh, tags. One tags the title and tags. Uh, some people even recommend. Uh, repeating the title in the in the description, but I think that's a little bit over fastidious, perhaps. And then hit save in the upper left corner, and for your changes, window trim uh, on truck, and you put your tags on here, truck. And that's just an example because you. You just put as many tags as you can. I forget what the limit is, but it takes quite a few of them. Save, and then you've updated the video with uh, all the trimmings. Trimmings. All right, that's it. Just make sure you have on the Chromebook, make sure you have the YouTube app installed with the PowerDirector app, and you're good to go. Take videos with your smartphone, upload them to your Google Drive account, and then when you open PowerDirector and you do a new video, you'll see the icon for Google Drive and grab them from there. Again, one, one or two clicks to download it to this app. And then a couple more taps after it's downloaded to insert it into the editor, etc. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that helped somebody that's new at this.